Good day and welcome back. Today we have a Gulfstream Amerilite. It is a 199 RK. Uh, pretty sure that stands for rear kitchen. So let's uh, just kind of dive into it. Nice lightweight unit. Has a manual uh, tongue jack up front. Nice branding up uh, center. Rock guard plate down below. Kind of looking down the side of it here. Pretty straightforward, no slide out, single axle really big access to storage uh, i'm gonna not show you that here i'll show you that from the inside because it kind of jumps in underneath the main sleeping area does come with a spare tire so very very nice pretty straightforward rear back bumper it does have uh manual rear, rear stabilizers this one does not offer them in the front i uh, suspect that so they can hit a certain weight that they're trying to be at does have a power awning do have solid stair entryway here. Uh, walk you right on in. And uh, I'll kind of show you the door. Does have a screen door there, of course. There is a place to put a television here. TV backer. The cable uh, hookup right there at coax, I suppose it would be more accurate to say. 110 power, USB. Down below, you got storage on the foot of the bed, or head, I suppose, depending upon how you want to sleep in here. You do have uh, some decent uh, hanging storage. Nice uh, shelf up top over the bed. Kind of a nice little feature. Uh, head or foot of the bed, however you want to do this. You do have USB and uh, 110. Of course, the window is there. Um, LED lights underneath to light it up. And then, uh, this is kind of what I wanted to show you. This is a huge amount of storage. There's that big ac access port. And then uh, you have all of this room. If you look uh, closely here, this is the rounded face, the cap. You have uh, a little bit of storage there for kind of a direct access there as well. So, kind of cool that they do that. I don't think I've seen that done before. I'm going to give you just a little bit more space. Um, it does have interior speakers. There's one hanging out right there. Right in here is where you've got uh, your control panel. I'm kind of going to some of these cabinets and drawers and whatnot. Um, this is a uh, jackknife couch, so it'll come down kind of like a futon. Kind of lifts up. There's some storage down there. And then, of course, it folds down flat. Definitely another space for sleeping if you guys run into it or need it, I suppose, would be the more uh, accurate terminology. Light underneath there. Stereo is over this direction. Pretty straightforward. Kind of spinning around. Nice little booth dinette. It's not overly large, so one person on each side would comfortably fit. If you guys uh, were small people, you could potentially do two. Just kind of show you there's a power outlet down there, so that's kind of nice. Um, rear kitchen is huge on this one, and we'll get back to that in just a moment. But you do have plenty of space in the fridge-freezer combo here. It is 12 volt, does give you plenty of options on how you would like to run it. If you look right here, your performance, eco, temperature settings, all that good stuff. So, pretty nifty. Pantry storage, I imagine, is what this would most commonly be used for. Kind of right by the fridge, makes sense. And uh, we're going to kind of get back over to this kitchen area again because it is uh, very, very good sized. So just kind of looking in here, we're going to hit some weights. Looks like my sticker's coming down a little bit, but if you look on here, it's telling you that this thing's 35, 39. So from a weight standpoint, you're pretty good. Kind of gets you into some of the towing capacities that other ones can and can't do. Microwaves up top. It does have a two burner stove right here. I'm going to just kind of show you the... It's got a really good kitchen counter space, especially for a camper of this size. And they do a very good job with giving you options for storage. Again, smaller campers, smaller storage options, but they're utilizing every space available 
heater is down below here, which is nice because it's actually blowing forward towards where you'll likely be sleeping when you need the heater. And uh, not just blowing at the wall. A lot of times you'll find them uh, hanging out over here and the heat doesn't move as much. So the only thing, my pet peeve about this camper is, is when you open this door, you can fit in here. I can fit right in this corner, but it's, it's a tight fit. So that is my only pet peeve. I don't know how they'd fix it, but if I was going to pick on it, that would be it. Kind of a give and take situation on these small ones, so I think it's a, a good compromise. Big bathtub. Shower, of course. You've got the dome up top for your head in case you're a little bit taller. And then uh, a little bit of storage down by the John. I don't know if I went in here or not. I've been talking too much. Um, plenty of space, plenty of room. The door is all the way open. You can easily do that. But just wanted to point that out. As always, any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.